Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to add a split screen to your Godot games. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So as you can see here, I have my typical test scene that I've been pretty much using for all my uh, latest tutorials. And this video is pretty much a continuation of the last tutorial I did on how to add local multiplayer to your games. Uh, so I've actually run this scene right now. You will notice that I can actually move this player here with my first controller and then the other player is controlled by my second controller. So this is pretty much what we did in the last video and this video is a continuation of that. If you want to know how to add this uh, so you can control two players separately from one another, the video will be somewhere on screen. Anyway, with that said, let's actually make the split screen work. So to do it, like I said, it's really simple. Let's select our main node here, which is in this case, the game node. And then let's do control A. And then we're gonna start by adding a grid container. Now you could also add an HBox container instead, but in this case, we're using a grid container. Then go over to the layout, full rect, so that it takes up our entire size here. And then, and the inspector for the columns, we want to set it to two because we're going to make this be split screen. We want one viewport to be on the left side and another one to be on the right side. And that's how our split screen is going to work. It's going to work with the use of viewports. So with that said, let's add those viewports. So with the grid container still selected, let's add a viewport container. Then with the viewport container still selected and the inspector, we want to set stretch to on. And the reason we want to do this is because if it's set to true, the viewport will be scaled to the control size. So basically when we add a viewport to this viewport container, it's going to be scaled to the size of the viewport container by setting this to true. Then over in the inspector still, we want to go to size flags and then we want to set the expand to on for the horizontal. And as you see, it's basically taking up half the size now for on the X axis essentially. And then for the vertical, we want to set expand to on as well. And now it's basically taking the entire left side. So now we can go ahead and actually add the viewport to the viewport container. So go ahead and add a viewport as a child of it. And then it's giving us an error here because it wants a size. So in the inspector, just set a size to it. So in this case, I'm just gonna set it to a size of 1920 by 10. 80. It doesn't really matter uh, since it is going to be scaled to the viewport container size, which is taking up half the screen since we did set the grid container to have two columns. Anyway, with the viewport container selected, we can do control D so that we can basically duplicate it. And now we have two viewports. So we have one on the left side and one on the right side. Now we can't actually see anything in this in these viewports right now because they need a camera. Now you could add a camera uh, as a child of the viewport like so. And then you can see that it's actually showing the level. But um, instead of doing it that way, because I would arise, I would have to add a custom script to my camera so that it follows my players around. I can pretty much just select my player and then click and drag it as a child of the viewport for my player one. And then for the second one, do the same thing and drag it into the viewport of the second one or the second viewport container. So now we have our players as children of the viewports. Now, if we actually test this scene out, let's actually run it. Let's actually make it be full screen and then we do start game. As you can see, we have two viewports. So we have our first player viewport that you can see here and actually can move around and see my other player. And then with my second controller, I can move my other player and I also can see everything from this player's perspective. So as you can see, there we go. It's that simple. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day.